Here we go. Sound recording royalties. What are sound recording royalties? First, let's talk about sound recordings. What is a sound recording? Um, and I'm going to read it and I'll synthesize it. The Copyright Act defines sound recordings as works that result from the, the fixation of series of musical and spoken or other sounds. That's all you really need to know. So the Copyright Act defines sounds as just something that's fixed. Remember, we talked a while ago, just in our first lecture, um, and just for you all that's tuning in today, uh, we've already discussed music publishing. Um, we discussed copyrights, trademarks, intellectual property, um, and all of these different things. So if you haven't um, tuned into those previous things, just go in and check them out, and we'll kind of try to bridge the gap for all of our new um, viewers. But today we're just talking about those sound recording royalties. So essentially anything that you could hear, right? So if you hear me humming and you're recording me humming, and we take that and put it in a fixed form, that becomes a sound recording. And at that point, once I take that sound recording and I monetize it, so say I want to put it on vinyl, vinyl is coming back. I read a, a fact the other day that says there has almost been as many vinyl sales with, within the U.S. as there has been CD sales. So vinyl is coming back. If someone puts that sound of me humming on CDs, if they put it on um, Spotify, if they put it on Apple Music, if they put it on all that, the, after someone was to stream that, the monies that are made from those sound recordings are now my sound recording royalties. Well, Kyle, we talked about music publishing. How does that differ than music publishing? This is how. Our sound recording, our sound recordings are on one side, meaning the sound, and our music publishing is on the actual instrumentation or um, the underlying lyrics or the compositions or the things that actually make up the sounds. So it's two different things. The sound recordings are what you hear, and the music, the music or the music publishing the underlying compositions aren't necessarily what you hear, but they're the components that make up the sound recording. 